Wednesday Night Reviews. Thank you for tuning in, everyone. I'm your host, Conrad, for Wednesday Night Reviews. And this week, I have the joy of speaking to you about Conan the Barbarian, number one, from Marvel. So Marvel did recently reacquire the licensing, and this series is written by Jason Aaron with artist Mahmoud Asrar, Matthew Wilson, and Travis Lanham. Uh, and of course, uh, what I learned and, and I'm very happy about actually is that uh, Mahmoud Asrar is a lifelong fan of Conan from the books, the old comics, the magazines, everything like that. So he truly puts everything he has into the art for this book, uh, and it shows. So the art on the cover is different than the inside, be warned. Um, the interior art is gorgeous, uh, and of course the writing truly is impressive from Jason Aaron. So this particular series kicks off, it's not connected to the original books, anything before, it is totally its own standalone story, and it perfectly fits within Conan. So having myself, obviously growing up, uh, I did get to watch you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger as Conan the Barbarian, and then later Conan the Destroyer. I've recently got a, my hands on an anthology by Robert E. Howard um, that catalogs his entirety of his Conan stories. And of course, uh, over the years, I've had ample time to read a number of Conan uh, comics. And this story and the way Conan is written perfectly fits within that library of content. The way that the characters are presented in, throughout the book, uh, such as the, well, Conan himself, but also secondary characters, the villains, witches, everything like that, it perfectly reminds me of the way in which Robert E. Howard would include you into the world of Conan to describe things, but also it fits with the aesthetic that the Arnold Schwarzenegger movies had when it came to how Conan felt about certain types of characters uh, and what he would do around them. And what I most liked about this, and this is a big kudos to Jason Aaron, this story starts when Conan is a, an adventurer, when he's far before he's ever been a king, when he's nothing but uh, basically a pit fighter and a scoundrel, and it ends, or this issue ends, I should say, when we see Conan as King Conan, uh, and he's ruling a kingdom, leading men, and it all picks up. And the, the greatest thing that the writing and creative team do on this whole book is tie in his approximately could be one of his oldest adventures with one of his last adventures because of course by the time this book begins to end Conan appears to be dying which is fantastic not because yay Conan's dying but it's very very rare that we see Conan in such a state overall when it comes to the detailing of the art in the book it is gory realistic and yet still has that comic book flair uh for instance, while it's obviously anatomically correct, most of the proportioning there is right, uh, it still has that jagged, flashy look of comics. But then in other scenes, there is really fantastic use of color to illustrate magic, for instance. So when magic is being introduced, it doesn't get a lot of detailing like... Conan's body with shadows and muscle tone, for instance, you see it on this page where there are tentacles of blood reaching up from a pit, and it's basically just a single colored red streak, but it makes it feel one out of place, which is right, because it's magic, it's not average or normal, and it shouldn't belong in the world, it's not natural, and it's a very powerful effect. Uh, and also the changes that happen to the witch's body over time throughout the book mimic that. So the creative team here is really using coloring, but also the way that they're drawing different characters to show you how crazy and unnatural things can get in Conan's world. This issue finishes off with the cliffhanger of Conan just about to die, and there are now about four or five issues out. So ladies and gentlemen, I unfortunately don't have the issues. I'm going to be going to my local comic book store as soon as the trade paperbacks are available to order them. You should do the same if you don't already have these issues. If you can't, check out your local library. They might be able to have it or order it. Uh, and then of course from there, you can always go to your local bookstores or find other means such as Amazon. So ladies and gentlemen, this has been Conan 
from Marvel, number one this year, written by Jason Aaron, art done by Mahmoud Asrar, Matthew Wilson, and Travis Lanham. It is a fantastic issue. It's going to be a fantastic series. Go pick it out.